This conference will now be recorded. We have suggested the same thing, so it's not about the only learning, only uh, AWS. It's more about the people are acquiring because when we see the casting part, so AWS and uh, Azure and, and also we have the GCP. When we see these three coming together, so the features are always here and there almost same. You can expect same kind of features, but uh, the major major variation is the casting part. Yes, wearing of T-shirt and shirt is same. Exactly. Not for because both the two T-shirt and shirt will be for the purpose of covering our body. Yes. Only that the part we are doing, like we will wear the we will wear the T-shirt with the head, yes. whereas a shirt with the buttons. And the appearance is different. That is true. So that visualization appearance is the purpose is same. Same. Hundred to two hundred. Mm -hmm. So every time my students, if any new student will come mm -hmm. to my demo, I I give a one suggestion to them. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me that what is the experience on Snowflake, what is the experience on Azure, what is the experience that on. Is so what how what your knowledge on data engineering? That is. True. That is the knowledge on data engineer. Why? Because even an Adobe guy is a data engineer. Yes. Yes. So even if you compare with the uh, Azure data engineering, GCP data engineering, AWS data engineering, whatever it may be, Adobe guy have a more knowledge. That is true. <laughs> a more knowledge. Why? Because, because he, they are building the data lakes. Yes. He, he need to do from scratch itself. The more important is for the on-prem only. Yeah. On-prem guy only. Not on the cloud. So why? Because he know every single operation from the scratch. Okay. We need to salute to the Adobe guy first. That is true. That is true. And then we'll talk about the cloud. Okay. Yeah. So here we just talk about the why I introduce myself as a multi-cloud data engineering means even you join with the Snowflake also. Okay. Mm -hmm. Snowflake is just a platform. One of the company yeah. which will do the operations of AD. Azure data engineering operations. Yes. Sorry, data engineering operation. DE. Yes. DE. Yes. So instead of Snowflake, we can use a ABC uh, software. That is true. We can use some other software. That's the first point. And the second point, anybody will have a focus on feature. Definitely that guy needs to say same thing. You need to focus on the multi-cloud. Even why I keep this image in front of me? This is the image. I am the I am working with the multi-cloud data engineering, but I am aiming to this image only. I'll show you in the screen. I'm aiming to this thing, this image. Okay, this is how the hmm. So so many people don't know actually. The persons who have a knowledge, uh, like uh, uh, what we can recognition. Mm. Azure data engineering having a recognition, but Snowflake guys don't have any recognition. GCP data engineering having a recognition, Snowflake don't have any recognition. AWS data engineering having a recognition, but Snowflake having a, don't have a recognition. Because it is a dependent on the cloud. No. Is... No, that's so what then... the, actually, if you say that as a Snowflake engineer, Okay, I am the most uh, powerful guy. Well, compared to the guys, mm. sir, where we can talk about Telugu, you are a Telugu guy, mm. you are comfortable with Telugu, mm. you can communicate with you, have a good skills, but how much long, how many people you can handle? That is true. About seven crore people, three crore on Telangana, three crore on uh, Andhra Pradesh, okay. and extra one crore people, around eight crore people you can handle. If I know Telugu, English, Hindi, how many pro people I can handle? You can, across, you can handle across. The main thing you can understand. If you are a data engineering of Azure, you are good communicated with Azure platforms. Mm. You are good to communicate with Azure platforms. You are GCP guy. You are good communicated with GCP platforms, services. You are AWS guy. You are good communicated with GCP, uh, AWS platforms. Mm. But if you are a snowflake guy, you are a snowflake guy, you can communicate with all three of those. Yeah, that's true. That is true. All three of those. Even you can talk about the Azure guy, you can go to the Azure data engineering guy, you can talk about the snowflake, you don't know. 
you talk about the aws glue you don't know you talk about a, a big query you don't know yes but if you talk about the snowflake guy snowflake guy, at least he can explain aws azure gcp with the basic services of storage that's but even though don't have a recognition mm -hmm. Okay, and one more important thing here you need to know. So it is the class part only. The class actually start with why I need to learn the snowflake. Why I need to learn the snowflake? That is the answer for that. Actually, yes. So why not it is Azure DevOps, Azure Data Engineering? Why not it is a GCP Data Engineering? Why not it is a AWS Data Engineering? Yes, sir. I'm not short on that services or not uh, not uh, degrading that uh, operations they are very good operations and they are popular just i am focusing on snowflake why i need to learn the first thing the people who are looking for the change for the packages otherwise looking for the good career opportunities only two points end of the day they need job end of the day they need job so they don't they are not related to the aws guys they are not related to relatives to the azure guys they are not relatives to the azure uh, sorry gc they are very close to the jobs so focus on the job the more you have opportunities that is our relative that is our friend okay so now everybody if you are trying to learn the snowflake or azure or gcp whatever it may be the end of the concept for example if you learn a tableau there is no end point there is no end focus here only focus is tableau if you are learning a tab power bi there is no another focus only tableau or power bi there if you if you try to learn some salesforce there is no other uh, other focus only salesforce but if you are learning any of your data engineering, if you enroll to Snowflake or ADF or any of our uh, services like Red, Redshift or whatever it may be, definitely the end focus will be a data engineering. Good. It won't stop on Snowflake. It won't stop on Synapsis. It won't stop on EDF. It won't stop on Talent. You need to know about all of our pipeline. So just I will show you one image. You need to know end of the day, you need to be more focused on this pipeline. Desktop, my desktop, Snowflake, where we have images. Sir, you all came from the background of Tableau and Power BI. Even I am also came from the Tableau and Power BI. But at the time of working with Tableau and Power BI, I don't know what is data warehouse. Even in the market, around 900 people are in the market of Tableau and Power BI. That 100 people, out of 100 people, 30 to 40 percent people don't know about the data warehouse. Not 30, it's around 60 percent people don't know the data warehouse. Even out of 100 people trained who got not placed, for example, Tableau and Power BI, who was not placed, for them also, they don't know the data warehouse. That means even Tableau and Power BI trainers also not teaching any yes. data warehouse concepts. But whereas Tableau and Power BI starts from data warehouse only, na, in real time. Without data warehouse, there is a reporting. What is the use of having that? Yes, that's what. So the start, I didn't keep this Power BI and Tableau in this uh, SQL. Hmm. See, this uh, integration is not happened at the SQL. Yes, this will be integrated with data warehouse only. Yes. But people don't know about the data warehouse much more. Actually, data warehouse will be hidden by a tools. Data warehouse will be hidden by a tools. It should be a Tableau, it should be a Power BI, it should be a QQ, it should be a QuickSense, or it should be a ETL tools. Talent or data stages or Informatica or something else. 
so why because these are the tool based they are getting the jobs with these tools itself okay without knowing the concepts of data warehousing but all these guys see if you talk about sql guys if you talk about the etl operations if you talk about the report operations even a data scientist or data engineering or data mining people or data monitoring people or ba people or b ba people mm. needs to connect with data warehousing so many people don't have this knowledge that's why data warehouses are forcibly hidden forcibly hidden so here why i am giving this lecture is that even though if you are trying to be a snowflake engineer or if you are trying to learn a snowflake the main focus the end focus needs to be data engineering multi cloud data engineering sir end focus should be a multi cloud data engineering sir this page sir this page then why i need to enroll to snowflake because of need because of need means the main need for the candidate is getting the job entering into the platform entering into the best platform getting in the job is best thing okay easy getting the job and entering into the best platform is the most important thing so you with the help of snowflake you entered into the data engineering part and you can get easily job that's the first thing and the second three you get open the doors with multi cloud if you learn specific course like azure or gcp or DC, uh, aws you just open the doors with that pleasant cloud only you just open the doors on that cloud only but if you learn the snowflake at least you will open the multi cloud that's one of the best thing on the snowflake and the second point is you can easily get your job directly with the snowflake itself without knowing the sql without knowing the etl operations without knowing the reporting operations we can directly work as a data engineer with snowflake there is the second point and the third point is competition less for getting the job definitely this is the one of the important thing yes competition less so why because nobody knows about the snowflake much more than azure data engineering even if you observe sir in data engineering azure data engineering concepts they will only focus on ade mm. azure data factory adf mm. they won't focus on synops okay. they won't focus on synops if you check it data bricks they will talk about it. they won't talk about the synops but here only we discuss about data warehouse all this we call it as data bricks or adf all will be included in the snowflake itself mm -hmm. if you want to do your atl operation i will do within this snowflake itself snowflake will collect the data transform your data load your data and serve for the multiple purpose that means all adf all not in detail for understanding purpose i am teaching sir just it not for i am not degrading the tools they have a special specialities but just i am telling you all operations you can do you can still manage all this actually old traditional will be etl extract transform load yes now the trend is elt load first you need to extract load it whatever the data it will be loaded why because you are not focused on, you are not bothering on the storages you have unlimited storages on in the form of cloud you are not bothering previously you are bothering about storages but now no need of bothering of storages unlimited storage you have that's why you are loading when you need you transform it that elt support with this snowflake sir other tools won't support not that much sir not that mm. much all modern data warehouses will support clt but not that much effect on snow not like a effect on snow sir there you are talking let's say simply who knows a azure data engineering just i will give the comparison
मैं सीक्वल रेडियस सिनाप्स सिनाप्स फोर बी सीक्वल डेटाबेस and after that it will extract the data with the help of adio adio will extract the data transform the data and load the data into target tables called synapse so this is database this is adio this is data warehouse and this is visualization so I call it as reporting so in this case you can use db2 portugal db portugal oracle or other databases whatever the databases you want you can use and here we can use on prem informatica talent or uh, scoop or ssi s sis or something like for example as a cloud that is cloud i'm talking about cloud oh, data yes. uh, on, uh, like for example data stages so cloud part of you adio glue data flow and data fusion metilion dbt like lot lot many tools are there here you talk about first most data warehouse is sql data warehouse oracle sql data warehouse so all the people will of tableau and power bi will at the time of i i used to work on before 7 years back 6 okay. years back i think so first the starting of my job is tableau only okay. 7 years back at the time they will connect with a sql databases but okay. uh, my trainer failed to say that it is a sql data warehouse but at the time they they won't expect that knowledge that is enough actual my trainer no, gave the best information the reason behind is that so they have a different uh, environment right because yes. the historical data might be in a different location on the some transaction data is there in a different location yes. then we are doing the reporting somehow we are working on the void dp and the void dp system yes so that's how the variation is that so okay we can call that okay this is a warehouse Yes. Only that's a database. That's what. That's, uh, that's what actually. Uh, my trainer gave at the time the best. That's all. Yes. That, that time. That, that time. But yeah. now, after ten years, I am talking. After nine years, sorry, my tableau training was completed nine eight years back. Mm -hmm. Okay. After eight to nine years, I am talking. Now tell me mm -hmm. how much of data you have. At the time, I am working with OLTP OLTP systems. Now what we need to do? is well tip well tip systems will support after 9 years back as just check me as a institute how much data you are getting sir daily how many enquiries we are getting sir 9 years of span how much data it will increase sir i started before 10 years back of my institute for example this institute at the time 10 leads only but after 10 years how many leads it will be maybe thousands lakhs also depends upon the market so at that time i will use a oltp only but it's not possible now it is oltp definitely you need to go with olap yes. yes, so that time the trainer will be good why because oltp systems only using on the present trends yes so that they will teaching the classes on that yes but nowadays you can check the total popular companies all are holding a use of amount tb sub data tb sub data. Yes. even tb is not petabyte yes. almost bytes uh, megabytes of data you can take. if you want you can take the call so that means definitely in this time you need to talk must and should talk about oil yes. must and should talk oil but the sad part is that in this time also the people of tableau and power bi are quick you are quick sense are reporting people like luca or something uh, guys who are working with the uh, reporting strategies they are not much know about the data warehouse is the sad part 
Yes, that's how companies are limiting the roles. Yes, yes. Because uh, because of the data security, it's not only uh, the person issue. Person is not exploring. It's not because of that. It's more about the organization is limiting the roles. Okay, because you are a visualization guy. Okay, wait for that. So we will provide the yes. It means uh, connecting details. So just use it and uh, do, do do your work. Yes, that's good enough. You yes. Do... Here, uh, what the thing is that absolutely what you are saying is right. Even uh, in our online guys also, these these things will know. I'm not saying that Power BI and Tableau or reporting yes. guys are utilizing or not working or not worthful. Well, because I am also came from that background only. Yes. I am working with same roles only. Even I don't know that things on that time. But what my intention in this class is, we need to shape up our minds. And coming days, we'll expect the things with multiple operations. So up to now, this will be okay. But coming days, definitely you need to know of all the areas. All the areas. So that's what my intention actually. We are not at all be Power BI, Tableau or for some other things, guys, are like that. We are also same background. Even I am also limited with same role. Yes. Even I don't, I know only how to create a BOMAS, photos and greeneries and uh, color making and other things, visualizations. I'm good in dashboarding. Okay. Even uh, at the time of my working of Tableau, even I, am, I can't do some e simple ETL operations on the data source level. I don't, I, I, I can't do some calculations with. Uh, because the data was not much complex. But nowadays, the data will be too complex, sir. Coming days, so whatever the war war, third, four, third war war, will, old war will comes with the data only. Data, 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 data. The persons who have a more data, he is the king. The persons who have more understanding on his data, he is the king on business. Anywhere, sir, anywhere data is must and should, sir. Previously, in your village or in your home, if they are doing something, means they just do the things. But nowadays, the visualization is different. The people thinking is different. Just they think, yesterday it will be used or not. Okay, yesterday it will be used, now it also used to be used. So based on the yesterday activity only, they are taking the decisions. Decision making is must and should. To know so if, if you have a perfect decision that will lead you perfect man the decisions will be made by data so why data engineering will comes this because of this one so in this case you can choose any of your services any of your tool based also you can go otherwise entire tools you can learn and entire process you can learn and act as a data engineering your wish that's all your wish. Okay. The thing you need to know, one thing you need to know, once you enroll to this data part, okay, data part, whether it is data engineering, okay, or Snowflake, or any of your course, like Synapse or ADF or AWS Glue or BigQuery or, B, or uh, Big Tables, whatever it may be. In this stream, in this competition, let's say, for example, what is that? Injection. Data leaking, preparation and competition, competition and data warehousing and presenting. If you are being in this position, at least you need to know basics of this all this process. All this process, injection, data storing, and after that preparation and competition, okay, and after the data warehousing. Here data leaking means basically ETL. ETL. And the presentation you need to know all these things okay so my intention on this class is if you are interested to learn snowflake okay up to getting the job snowflake is enough okay some basics of ETL operations is enough enough but the end you need to have a one focus that focus is a multi-cloud data engineering okay getting the job is snowflake is enough but surveying the job and 
keep on going into the same platform means it is an endless process. You need to go on focus on multi-cloud data engineering. That means before enroll, enroll into this course itself, you need to keep one goal. But other courses, no need of other goals. No need of other goals. Just focus on that. Technology is enough. Got my point, sir? Yeah. That's the first point. And the second point, what are the opportunities we have in the small? Okay, here we just talk about this all, let's say instead of here, some Oracle or DB2 we will use, otherwise some data stage or whatever it may be, instead of Synopsys, we can use Snowflake also. Instead of Power BI, we can use other technology, Tableau like that. Here we can use some Metillion. Metillion. Or DBT. DBT also on, on data transformation. Otherwise, something ADF also you can use your, your wish. Okay. Sir, in EJU data engineering, every time I am comparing EJU data engineering, sir, you need to remember this one. Why? Because nowadays, people don't know AWS data engineering. People don't know GCP data engineering. Most of the courses are now EJU data engineering only. Right now, Azure only in the main platform, mainstream, Azure data. That's why I'm comparing. Present trend with Snowflake. Present trend with Snowflake. So in Azure data engineering, so they're teaching you something like a data bricks. What all these data bricks? It is compute engine actually. Yes. So process use and bulk of data to the target portion. We will use a Databricks. Sir, is any other thing like Databricks in the Snowflake? Yes, sir. Within the Snowflake, no need of thought, but Databricks or Azure Databricks or Spark or like that. We have Snowpark. Snowpark. So this will also same like a Databricks. It is like an API framework. So we will use Python integration there itself. Got my point. That means that here I am talking about multiple tools. Whatever the multiple tools activities will be done with only Snowflake. Got my point, sir? That means whatever the activities I am telling you. Sorry. Injection, ETL operations, and preparation and competition, and also data warehousing, and also some little bit of presentation also will be available. It's basic, at least the pie chart, bar chart, basic. statistics, basic. dashboard you can create. Basic dashboard. If you want more means, you just integrate with Tableau, Power BI, QuickQ, QuickSense, data like Looker, whatever you want. You can integrate clear and also it will support for the almost all operations almost all clouds Azure, jcp and aws all will support by snowflake but if you use if you are using a azure data engineering it is somewhat complex to connect with azure uh, aws data engineering data part gcp data part if you are using a gcp data engineering somewhat complex to connect with uh, other cloud platforms. But if you are in the Snowflake, all are common for third party only. Oh. You can easily connect with all three parts. That's one of the most important. Next. We have a lot of openings for the Snowflake side. Okay almost internal people only changing the KS within the internal internal openings itself even still snowflake has a good market also it was not exposed because internal movement is more well compared to external movement so internally tableau and power bi sql guys etl guys are moving now you can check uh, so many people coming to me and asking i am working with the etl and so uh, my company is asking for snowflake 
maybe uh, once upon a day etl was hidden the data warehouse but coming days data warehouse will hidden the etl you can't see maybe talent or maybe other etl tools in coming future maybe i don't know in the olden days data warehouse was hidden by these tools in coming days data warehouse was doing the same reverse operation maybe you will see data warehouse only mostly coming days that's the first thing that's why openings are so lot many openings are there no coding is required 100 to 95 to 100 percent sql based in snowflake we will write a sql query snow sql we call it as a snow sql 195 percent is equals to my sql not oracle also oracle is different my sql is different my sql there are a lot of customization and it is very easy well compared to oracle operation okay so 100 to 100 percent sql only and how much sql you want not much more basic sequels like dml ddl dql dcl these operations much more you know? okay and within the snowflake you can collect extract and we can load and we can transform it also and it will support for on-prem as well as cloud both okay this is one of the benefit all mnc companies are taking snowflake profiles packages also huge sir you will get 40 to 50 lakhs also based on your experiences based on your experience the starting package will start from 8 to 10 lakhs so but minimum you need to keep 1.5 to 2 years experience no fresher opportunities no fresher opportunities in snowflake sir if you are a fresher please drop for the class please drop off the class okay no opportunities okay. minimum you need to keep two years experience on or 1.5 at least okay then only you have a calls got my point sir yeah. so that means see minimum two years 1.5 at least and maximum any years you can keep okay but whatever the content i am giving you so go up to four years experience also within the stream okay entire almost all data engineering part activities i will cover you so within the snowflake means i will cover you almost 90 percent of subject so that means almost all uh, integrations i will do and almost all transformations i will explain okay and almost all the subject i will explain okay so actually in our class i will use snowflake as a data warehouse simply so still companies are using snowflake as a database only database means oltp but still companies are using snowflake as a oltp but my class is a oltp that means i will cover you oltp and OLAP. okay all etl operations i will cover next experience wise i already covered okay minimum at least 1.5 so the packages will be 40 to 50 lakhs also okay almost all the projects will be us based on almost all projects will be us based on already my notice i am working with the us only us guys only. so my company is also us based company uh, almost uh, development was completed in usa so still india not started development part in snowflake mm -hmm. still doing the development admin activities only okay so coming feature we need to give the support to the that projects that okay. times at that time you you were the main resources for the guys mm -hmm. that means there is a lot of opportunities in coming feature so if you are be a admin come developer means there is a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. in our class also we are covering same but admin part how it will be exactly because it, it will be the handling by the 
cloud person no. the installation is here the here snowflake is a saas setup mm -hmm. not cloud setup mm -hmm. so many people don't know about the differentiation cloud setup means cloud itself you will take the server yes. and we will install the software there itself but snowflake is not like that it just is saas setup software as a service okay. you'll just go to one url your account creation like a facebook yes. account creation like a flipkart account creation like a instagram kind of application just running a url you will create a account you will create a account in that particular snowflake you will get one url that url act as a instance server no installation no other things are there. no management sir okay in for example oracle admin but you need to install oracle data processing data storing and everything will be there on the cloud cloud virtually okay. and the strategies of snowflake implementation is very very nice approach mm. nice approach they, they won't focus on util utilities so mm. actually what the thing is that for example if you want to be looks good you want to be look good where you invest the money we will first uh, do some analysis on the market so where we will get you, the you want to be looks good appearance appearance okay, okay where you will invest the money first thing is the clothes actually i don't do invest the money on clothes then we will go to food i will invest on my uh, appearance like hair cutting mm -hmm. makeup in okay and uh, perfumes like that mm -hmm. i don't uh, invest as a as a analysis person i don't invest the money on clothes why because if you observe the clothes won't appear if you cut the cloth that will goes that modern wear whatever the clothes we are we have Yes. that will be modified that time no need to invest the money on clothes na huh? why you are wasting the investment on uh, uh, getting new clothes just make your own uh, appearance with exiting clothes that's why snowflake won't invest the money on storages and computing they just util using the or utilizing the exiting computing and storages they just invest the money and the things on appearance usage uh, activities of a snowflake make uh, more efforts on snowflake software so that's why they focused on software that's why they got a lot of uh, uh, features well compared to other data warehouses a lot of features you get and he utilized the exact utilization happened by snowflake with present resources okay. actually let's say for example you you need to start a one company you just take the rent or uh, office and you need to take you need to buy our uh, servers and everything laptops and everything you don't focus like that okay, okay? what they will do you just create a, if you start a office you just create a one website this website will be hosted on cloud any of aws azure gcp and doing service from that application itself yes. no investment no storage if you have leads also the storage will be the cloud now yes if any requirements is also there virtually they will do that means cost cutting is a lot of cost cutting and we have a lot of time to invest some time on the appearance of your software doing of your software same thing he is done and one more important thing sir why snowflake why not other next important question is that that's not so that's it there is a lot of features in detail i will talk in the class in next coming classes why snowflake technically i will talk on next sections okay but in generally i am talking sir 
you have joint family you need to take care about your joint family and you have four brothers and four sisters now tell me what is your role here whatever the money you are getting or whatever the time you are have you need to split to all the four brothers and four sisters and all your family members what about your performance it has to be in the peak performance peak performance and you can't achieve that expectations also let's say i am the single guy i don't have any other activities i am only the purpose only the one purpose now what is my performance performance will be simply snow flexa if you talk about azure azure data warehouse synapses or something like other things azure data azure is the platform of rental actually main business sources act as a tent house azure the main business sources purpose of business is tent house tent house means why i call it as a tent house temporarily hosted rental purpose rental. they will give their services as a rental in our villages we have a tent houses in the tent houses what we will get cooking dishes tents and uh, some other uh, other things like uh, decoration cloths and other things here in it part if you talk about azure gcp and aws they are also started at tent houses whatever the resources needed on the it they will provide that resources as a tent rental that's why i simply call it as a tent houses the main business purpose is for rental got my point sir but snowflake is the purpose of for data warehousing that means azure guys as a microsoft guy you need to focus on multiple things like a joint family but snowflake guy he need to focus on only data warehousing only the purpose same like that aws guy need to focus on giving rental to the resources to other guys and take care about their services how effort they are got my point sir see in gcp also that's why the product was not came perfectly they are kings on giving rental services they are not kings on a specific tool a specific service point sir yeah. here as a joint family you are the king of maintaining the joint operations as a single guy i don't have that opportunity i don't have that capability also you are king but what is your specific role in specific service but snowflake is a one of the purpose that will fulfill entirely got my point sir at least entirely but 95% 90% it will fulfill but there is azure gcp and aws will fulfill their services up to 60% that's 70% lag 20% will come back to snowflake in generally i am talking sir in technically i will talk later why we need to go with snowflake okay this is just demo sir okay just i need to explain what is actually snowflake one second please sorry hello
sir that's the purpose actually uh, it will fulfill the entire operations like uh, almost all data warehouse people uh, operations will be done so that uh, snowflake is the one of the best thing next package wise was good openings wise also good and compared to other definitely snowflake has a one huge opportunity oh huh? that's the three points i covered here now how about the security points? security Things points are. yes so data security in a sense did you believe the aws yes did you believe edge yes did you believe gcp yes as a azure product guy you believe azure very much more as a aws product person yes. i believe aws compared to azure sir i am lover of iphone that's why i bought two phones as iphone that means that android don't have that much of opportunity not like that na no? yes. so if i like azure i am good with azure if i like aws i am good with aws okay if i like gcp i am good with gcp okay so we have a one quotation like so rajagar pedda kodal manchid ante chinna kodal chedda dani kaadu exactly that is true so, so kings big daughter in law is good means not small daughter in law is bad we believe in big daughter in law that's it here what i am setting talking about the storage security actually your storage is in your location only not on snowflake mm. snowflake is just act as a software again your storage is in aws only if you like aws the data will be in aws if you like azure the data will be in azure only if you like gcp the data is in gcp only because why my question is that so i mean means previous days when we talk about the standalone database installations setting up the security all these things so that time what will happen is that we usually set up a place on premise let's take on premise uh, i'll show an on premise so if it is on premise means they'll set up some security reasons depends on that uh, project and how the erp has been designed for a particular project that's how they'll make it yes. as a security pass but when it comes to this uh, snowflake so snowflake is depending for storing purpose it is depending on the any one of the cloud storage any one of the cloud storage because cloud itself is not having any database cloud is if if, if it is a aws they are maintaining the red shift backend for a aw or most of the aw projects if i don't go for the snowflake then my aws will suggest for the red, red shift red shift is a default one yes is no if it is same one. azure means synapse so if it is gcp means big query big query yes that's how they uh, define that things yes even with now we are assured that so we are going with a snowflake option okay. which means we are all means already we are depending on the cloud data storage which is the when any one of the storage so how the cloud means cloud later or the cloud will set up the security for my data because the snowflake is only there acting as an intermediate tool which will pick up something from somewhere and it will drop somewhere it is so that's how it is in between if i need any transformations i can do through the snowflake which means i can pick up something i can do some massaging and all these things and i can put it somewhere so once i place my data in somewhere so what is the next so very the next thing is that so what is the data security this is a very big concern in the industry data security if you see now the uh, very recently i heard this uh, big back so some us guy had india data 80 crores of indians data he has hijacked the data and he keep keep it with him and now he is demanding the indian uh, government saying that if you pay 1000 crores okay. i can release your data but not sure whether he will release the data or not or you will maintain a replica <laughs> just replica what is that just a copy paste yes it is simple command right just a copy paste paste it the entire data will go somewhere again yes so in these scenarios and situations how 
the data security, we can expect that. How the data security is more reliable with our uh, Snowflake. In a sense, it's not only Snowflake, can it is take the, the cloud? Any of the Yes, sir. So, definitely, uh, sir. So, yeah. definitely, this will be a security models are there. We can implement the security models, what they are providing actual. Oh, this is again the cloud. How cloud platforms the, uh, models are there. Okay. So, okay. there we have a different uh, access controllers are there. Okay. okay. So, with the help of access controllers, we can restrict the guide and also we can set up a uh, HTTP protocols and different protocols are there. So, we can set up the protocol setup. Okay. Actually, is but a snowflake. Is it, is it a part of the snowflake? Uh, actually, the snowflake. Okay. Snowflake is a software that sit on that same cloud itself. Yes. yes actually. Yes, yes. Here, Snowflake won't sit on India, whereas storage won't sit on outside of Singapore. Outside of Singapore. Yes. Okay. Yes. So there will have a same city place, but the differentiation will be happened with the layers. Mm, good, good. Okay. Layer. Okay. So cloud service layer, query processing layer, and a storage layer. Storage. Okay. So these three in players will be interlinked. Okay. And then at the part of cloud service layer, the cloud service layer is same cloud on the layer. The security rules will be designed. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. That security rules based on the security rules only users will access that. Yes. So you can implement any of your security integrations, single sign-on, or any of other LDAP or whatever the same, uh, security rules you can apply. Access yes, controllers you can. Is, so recently from the Uttar Pradesh, one of the Indian guy, he reached the Google Chrome. Yes. And he sent one notice to Google saying that I have a well miss, uh, break your uh, security concerns, uh, security uh, breaches. That's how he sent a mail to Google. Sir, we, if you are in the, how, uh, sir, let's say for example, if your gold is with you, then it will be with you. That is true. But if, but if, if it is with major, bank means, majorly, if it is in the locker means, hmm, it is believe in the bank, that's it. That's it. That's what, that's what. Here also, so once you are not ready with on prime, you are choosing a cloud means it is not about the snowflake, it is not about the AWS, it is not about the Azure, it is not about the GCP. No. Whatever it may be, security concerns will be belief okay, on their activity. Yes. Let's say, for example, every time so many people are familiar with AWS, mm. but less people are familiar with Azure. Yes. But if you talk about in the market, what is the name of Azure is? They are highly secured. Azure is highly secured. Well compared to AWS. Mm -hmm. Well compared to AWS. Okay. So many people are working with Android. Some people are working with iOS. Most popular devices are Android. Yes. Okay. Most secure devices are iPhone. iPhone. Yes. It's all our belief. All our requirements. If you feel it is sensitive, why will you go with cloud? Let's say, for example, mm. I have a naked photo myself. Mm. Why I will upload that into drive? That is true. Simple understanding. Yeah. Why I said that name is, I have a naked photo of myself. Why upload into drive? If I want to see my naked photo with myself, I will keep it in my local disk, man. That is true. Yes. Same companies also doing same thing. Okay. If it is that much of sensitive, okay? They still maintain their on premises systems. On premises. Definitely, but sir. Analysis purpose here and there, analysis purpose, they are processing data. Yes. Data. Yes, sir. That's it, sir. Here, data engineering means mm -hmm. from A to Z, we need to talk. That is true. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what these many discussions we are coming, yes. we are getting actually. So a new guy like this, he will confuse with all these topics. Yes. Okay. But the main motto of my class of demo is, I'm not focused on Snowflake. I need to focus on the data engineering operations. Go. So people still working with on-prem, sir. Still people work with the enterprise, sir. But is uh, Snowflake will support the SQL Server or Oracle like that? Yeah. 
it will support spins i'm sorry no the thing is that it is a uh, snowflake is a kind of application based right yes. it's a kind of application so assume that so i have orchid data storage database data warehouse whatever we call it is it is installed on my machine which is a on premise i have all my security concerns and everything can i install uh, so can i set up a snowflake with a this system Huh. This, this system consists of uh, Oracle or, or RDBMS database, can we, whatever it may be. Yeah, can we, yes, simple, sir. Can we configure that software? Yes, a local mission having a CMD. Yes. Run as administrator. Just click on SnowSQL. You install the software plugin SnowCLI client. Oh, okay. Okay. Client Snow 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 CLI client. So we'll just insert. See, my account was connected with local system. Snowflake. Ravi classes one five one five. Okay. So how it will be connected means I already installed the software in my local mission. That is this software. Snow. CLI client. Snow SQL. Oh. This is the software I installed for Windows. If it is the operating system Linux, Linux support. Mac, Mac support will be there. Plugin. Oh. It's just a plugin. Okay. okay. With this, you can process your data. You will get the data into Snowflake. So let's say, for example, create a database. What's your name? Tanga. Tanga. DB. Database was created on the Snowflake. Makes sense. Okay. You are not good with this also. No problem. Snowpark. Snowpark, I already told you. No? In the Snowpark itself, we will write a code. So let's say I will open a simple code. Lots of flexibilities. Huh? Simple, sir. Import Snowflake connector and connect connection made with the Snowflake. And after that, write out uh, whatever the activities you want. You can transform your data. You can create it. Immediately database will be created there itself. Transformations also happened with the based on the Python code. Okay. And results will be shown here itself. Got it. You are not interested on this also. Okay, Python code. Directly install Snowpark hmm. plugin. With that plugin, you can do your operations. Or Python Anaconda. All will support. Okay. So, and uh, one more important thing here. It is just, for example, it is RDBS. It is all RDBMS databases are file based. Yes. That means files will be located on the one location. Yes. We'll call that location and we'll call the files into the Snowflake directly. That's a, for example, Oracle means yes. it is not file based. You need to integrate. Yes. So there is an integration process again. Snowflake integration process. Oracle is not integration. Let's say Tableau, desktop. Power BI, desktop, that are on-premises. How Snowflake will integrate? ODBC drivers. ODBC drivers are there. Actually, Tableau and Power BI consists of a Snowflake connectors. Yeah. Otherwise, you don't have a connectors. No problem. ODBC drivers. Let's say you have an Excel sheet like this. From here itself also you will connect with your ODBC driver. Let's say for example you want to get the data. Data. From other sources. So from ODBC drivers. Choose your ODBC driver. ODBC driver will create a snowflake connector. Sir, some your, your server sir, not support with ODBC drivers. Next, next alternate is JDBC. Oh, JDBC. Windows are most familiar with ODBC. Whereas Linux servers are JDBC. Yes. So just use your JDBC connectors. Okay. You are working with talent. Hmm. So in the Snowflake itself, talent connector is there. Okay. Just simple connector. It is a software. This is the Snowflake software. You will get one system. This is one instance actually. Okay. This is software. Just log into your software.
So creating account is enough, sir. You'll get this account. 30 days free, free trial account will be there. So with this free trial account, whatever everything you can do, same software will be used on real time. But it is a paid. Okay. After 30 days, it will be expired. In real time, it won't be expired. It will be detected money from your credit card. Pay as you go model. Based on your usage, you need to pay the money after the month. Okay. No need to pay in in advance itself. Okay. So now this is the account. Here itself, there we have a lot of connectors. See, admin. There we have a connectors. Sorry. Partner connectors. So almost all connectors will support. Data integration. All tricks. Census. DBT. Informatica. Google. Stitch. Directly we can talent so click on here and it will create a separate database for this separate computer model for this and you need to log in with your account with the same talent page and do your operations okay. and even a third party also servers are you can know this one Debaver. Debaver, you know. It is just a third party software connected with databases and other things. With this also, we can connect this one back. Okay. URL based only, no? URL based. Flexibility is there. Lot of flexibility. You can create a store procedures, you can create a streams, you can create a type one, type two, type zero, see SCD, slowly change your dimensions. All within the snowflake, uh, snowflake itself, see, already connected. So whatever the query I writing here, that is executing on the snowflake. Everything. Like a Python, if you open the Python, if you write a query like this, everything will be saved on the Snowflake. So that's what, in technically, I'm talking, what are the features available in the Snowflake? In technically, I will talk on next classes. But in generally, what is the Snowflake and what is the features of Snowflake? So why we need to go with Snowflake? So the main requirements is getting the job and just open need to open the doors for data engineering so why because you one day you can't go be a data engineer okay so if you learn edu data engineering or if you learn so gcp data engineering, you can't be first you need to open one by one door so the first door will be a snowflake is the best thing so i am working with gcp data engineering okay actually in frankly i am telling you after my shift my career into entire data engineering part, actually I done all this part, but after some time, I just again get back, revert back, return, I take the U-turn. If I don't learn the snowflake and if I don't do any snowflake operations real time, then maybe GCP data engineering will be difficult to me. Maybe, I don't know. If I try to long GCP data engineering, that will take minimum of two to three months for me. At least two months. At least two months. After Snowflake activities, within 25 days, I launched GCP data engineering. Okay. Is it different than the Snowflake? GCP is different process is same, sir. But technology, because it is the goal, so here and there, the some of the functions functionalities, and the functionalities, as operations, everything will be same, sir. Hmm. Okay, operations is very, very simple. What I, I approach, the way of approach, UI. Mm -hmm. UI is not confused with Snowflake, like iOS. Let's say, for example, recently I brought one phone, yeah, S23 Ultra, almost 1,20,000. Samsung Ultra. Samsung Ultra. Uh, this is iPhone 12 Pro Max. I think that is more better than this. Cost-wise, performance-wise, camera-wise, everything. 
but i take that mobile after usage of this iphone i can't search whatsapp application on that mobile mm -hmm. i can't i i feel very difficult to handle that mobile sir well, because i am family of iphone from past 4s from 4s mm -hmm. from last 70 years onwards i'm using same iphones but uh, even i brought 1 lakh 20 thousand mobile also i'm very difficult to handle that mobile as a technical guy also immediately i gave that mobile to my wife yeah. and immediately you can check if you are a family of android iphone is jujubi yeah. somewhat complexity is there in android it is feel easy but checking the apps everything will be too difficult but here everything will be simple simple form not uh, complexity same like that i feel uh, well compared to other redshift or gcp uh, sorry big query snowflake will be comfortable very comfortable very very com why because everything will be taken care of by them so even if you give more customizations also it is difficult sir that is true android same thing customization customize you can customize your icon size yes. you can customize your icon shape that is too difficult sir your standard easy you can do so here there also some customizations will be there let's say for example region selection mm -hmm. multi cloud data replication selection data set creation for example gcp here just i create a ranga db it was created mm -hmm. with one database name and schema public but in the gcp but you need to select the project and that project you need to create a data set on the data set also you need to create one schema and the schema needs to be selected with multi cloud or not cloud or what is the availability you are expecting what is the region you are expecting everything you need to define more places more customization customization why 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 it is not need that much need sir this is enough na So one thing, one more example for the same uh, end of this session. One more example. For example, Oracle. Let's say you unfortunately you delete some data. You want to retrieve. What you will do? Usually, uh, pick, pick up from the backups. Backups. Backups means a flashback time. Flashback. You have a flashback time for 24 hours or 48 hours. Depends on the companies and. Uh, maximum 48 hours maybe one week because of their company norms and their storage capacities they will design let's say 48 hours let's say one week oh. one week configuration not more than that i think so okay yeah. you'll get guest connect with the flashback time and with the admin activities and uh, rules and permissions and you will get back the data yes sir yes in snowflake uh, sorry in aws cloud Let's say you delete something. Same thing it will be done. Same thing. You need to get through the restore the data with a different process. Yes, sir. Otherwise, they will use some functions, cloud functions. Otherwise, some coding, some scripting to retrieve the data, like Lambda functions like that. Lambda coding like that. Okay. Any any of our cloud. AWS means Lambda cloud. They will do. With the run, run the code without thinking of servers and retrieve the data. Snowflake will support all the cloud now? Yes. Whatever the feature of time travel, time travel is the feature, like flashback time and call it as a time travel. Okay. Same time travel feature is not available on the other clouds. Okay. okay. So there is a time travel in the AWS, Azure, GCP. But not that much of flexibility like a Snowflake. Oh. And the Snowflake is utilizing same their APIs only again. Oh. But in the cloud, you need to write some coding. 
the cloud will be predefined returned and make it as a api and utilizing by snowflake standardly with 90 days if you want to do same 90 days time travel in the aws or azure or gcp you need to write a code got it. Got it. but snowflake will make this as a standard and make it as a one simple code and make it as a one api and it will come Maybe in future, Snow, uh, Azure, Azure, GCP will increase the power of their stack abilities. But as of present, whatever the things happened or in their resources, all resources utilized by Snow. Okay. Okay. I'm not saying that it is not correct. So simply, sir, I have multiple products, sir. I don't know how to use the products. So I know what are the products I know. I will use that products only. But you have good knowledge on the products. What you will do, sir? You can simplify your activities, no? Yes. For me, it is complex. For you, it is easy. That means that you are exactly using your resources. That's it. Exact knowledge you are utilizing. Yes. That's it, sir. Here also, no flexibility. Time travel feature, 90 days you will have available. You can go and travel on 90 days back and you can retrieve your data with a single select statement. Single select statement. But whereas if you talk about other, we need to configure some certain 10 days or one week is there. If you want to more than that, you need to write a code to get back the backup. If it's a three months of backup, the cost will be there, definitely. It will be there. It's all ever depends. Up to 90 days, if they will support. Yeah. So you want the one week or you want, you want. There are flexibility of flexibility 90 days. Safe. 90 days. Even though 90 days will be end also, there is an extra seven days that will be get from Snowflake guys. If you connect with Snowflake guys, they will give you a backup. Cool. In the form of file safe. Okay. These many flexibilities we have. And one of the best thing in the Snowflake is, whereas databases will, you know, I'm comparing with databases. Databases will store the data in the for tabular format. Yes. Rows and columns. Whereas Snowflake will make your data into tabular formats, but okay. storage will be in the form of files. That files to be in the same tabular format. Okay. That means, Every time Snowflake is taking the dependency of AWS, Azure, GCP, you are talking simply. But how complexity to understand, to mingle with all these three clouds, sir? Yes. But they, they simply using the resources, see, with the plugin. With the REST API, REST API card, API. Yes. Snowflake, uh, sorry, AWS having their own API? Yes. Azure having their own API? Yes. GCP having their own API? Na? Yes. If you are working with Azure, same API will be used by Snowflake. If you are working with GCP, same API will be used by Supporting will be done. They just make some agreements like that. Got it. Okay. Actually, S3 storage will be stored with tabular format? S3 is a file format. File format. Same S3 storage act as a Snowflake storage. You are collecting the files and you are making the tabular formats and again you are storing into a files only. Got my point sir? Whatever the S3 which was not supported by tabular format but Snowflake will support with the tabular format Tabular format in the file in the S3 again as a storage. And that files will be also stored with the tabular format, sir. For Snowflake, it is a tabular format. For AWS guys, it's a file. <laughs> Do you got my point, sir? Yes. For Snowflake guy, don't have a support to files. They understand tabular formats only. SQL only. Okay? But AWS guys, it's a file. That means API, same API will be used. Okay. Same Azure also. Same API is used. 
and one more strategy implemented by snowflake is one of the best things oltp systems are supported with a row column row partitions we have mm. two partitions sir row partition and columnar partitions that depends on how the database is configured actually most databases oltp systems will supports with row partitions, row partitions. why because row partitions are very good to write the data mm. write the data write that data. databases will supports for writing only no yes. not for reading know. purpose huh. so not for reading purpose sir yes mm. you guys are doing reading also Yes, but not much more, sir. Only some simple use cases like such for last one year or six months or three months you are using that writing operation. It's a reading operation. If you are working with two months, two years or three years means no, it's mm -hmm. not relevant. Mm -hmm. And also row partitions are not support to relevant data, not support to such relevant data. Okay. It is That's for it made is, for uh, writing. Indexes will come, but the most overcome is columnar format. Columnar that is Hadoop. Hadoop. Hadoop systems. Where LAP systems are reading purpose. Mm -hmm. That's why Hadoop systems or OLAP systems will follow mostly columnar format. Yes. Columnar format. Columnar. Whereas Snowflake will support for both. It is a combination of row and columnar partition. Okay. Row and columnar partition. That's one of the best things. That means that it will be work as a OLTP systems very effectively. Same and also OLTP. same as a OLTP systems yes. very effectively. They invest a lot of thoughts on the software, sir. Not on the arranging the computer power and arranging the storages that is true they have look like they have worked on the utilization resource utilization. simplicities okay. simple activities and also they have own schemas own schemas snowflake okay. schema snowflake schema, snowflake okay. schema. Okay. so inbuiltly if you create a schema automatically snowflake schema will create it it will support for star schema and snowflake schema okay with the help of primary keys, foreign keys, you can attach your tables. Okay. After all this, there are a lot of achievements, even all the use of amount of data and how they are maintaining storages with the row and columnar partition. Sir, with the row partition means size will be this much, sir. With the columnar partition means this much, sir. With the combination of row and columnar partition means how much size, sir. But how they are maintaining? Very intelligently they are maintaining, sir. They are just using the strategy, sir. Not exact maintaining the row partition separately, columnar partition separately. Okay. The only the using of strategy. The strategy, actually columnar format only. But the strategy will be row wise and columnar wise. What they will doing is they maintaining the data in the blocks. Okay. 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 On the blocks, they are maintaining the data into row wise. When it is a uh, fetching time, it is like a, bo a block. Block. When storing time. Storing time is uh, row, wise. row wise. So blocks will store the row data. These blocks will be maintained as a column wise. Block. Records are in the row wise. Blocks are in the column wise. Column. So row wise and column wise combination will call it as a hybrid columnar storage. That's why it is perfectly suited for OLTP and OLTP. Yes, and also the search time will be optimized. Snowflake will take care of it. And this block, the data will be stored with a cluster key automatically. No need to be defined by user. Snowflake will identify it. Auto optimizers are there. Auto clustering are there, auto storing is there, okay. and Snowflake will register everything. Okay. So let simple understanding, sir. If I give one product to you and ask you to hide this product, okay, you hide this product and ask you to search by you only. How much time it will take to search that product? It's very easy. Very easy. 
But you hide that product. I ask to Ravi to search. That's what sir. Snowflake is storing the data. Snowflake is searching the data. With Snowflake mind, it is storing. With Snowflake same mind, it is reading. That means Snowflake having a metadata. Having with the help of metadata, they can read it. Exact position. That's what. That's what. There is a lot of points, sir. To talk about the achievements of Snowflake. Okay. That's what. Even I am working with GCP also. I am I am the fan of Snowflake. Okay. The strategy is there. Plus how they are made it as a hybrid database. So, right. Simply. Yes. Cost wise if you talk about it. Definitely. For storage and computing anywhere you want to touch even but if no, you no, maintain you you, you can you can maintain so, in on premises also you need to pay yeah. money for cost wise like computing yes. and storage definitely you need to pay yes. anywhere even you will take azure or gcp or what computing and storage they won't give as a free now yes yes, yes but service wise definitely some charges will be there they are offering a software means some charges will be there, but maximum they try to reduce the cost only. Why? Because within the Snowflake itself, 10% of uh, credits are taking as a discount. Okay. They have way of it. Okay. Okay. Way of it. Let's say, for example, utilization of software. Some serverless computer models are running without interference by user. Mm -hmm. Like a continuous data will be there. That time, no need of your computer. Snowflake yes. will arrange one computer model. Mm -hmm. For metalized views, yes. you need to maintain separate storages. Yes. For that, no need of maintaining by you. Snowflake will arrange one computer model. Okay. 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 That time the charges charges will be for that compute model. That will be way off with the 10% as of now. That's how they are using. There. But compared to other technologies, yes, somewhat little cost. Huh? Mm. But features wise, no. Yes, it is in the highest yes. position. Same. I can okay. frankly say that if you, if you join or join not, or join the course, okay. but Snowflake has the highest features. Maximum they utilize it, sir. And how about the next approach? So, when you are planning to start? So, maybe i will inform the same thing on the wednesday monday, monday. what when you will start actually i'm going to home on monday okay. monday tuesday wednesday maybe i don't know whether i will come or not if i don't go to home means i will start from the tuesday or wednesday okay. the batch will be start from the tuesday or wednesday okay. Okay. so on that batch so the first discussion will be what is snowflake okay. so just about it. what is snowflake my discussion will be what is Snowflake agenda of next classes will be what is Snowflake, why is Snowflake, where Snowflake, when Snowflake and how Snowflake. How will start from the installation of your software, getting the account from your software and it is usage of your software. Got it. This entire slides will cover. Okay. So over a redshift synopsis, why this is one. overview of entire data warehouse operation. In coming classes, we will teach these all these things. These are the layers of your swing. Usually it will be the morning time? Maximum morning time. Morning. Maximum morning only. No, actually uh, evening it's not possible for me. So it is my office time. Got it. Even I'm ready to start from six also. Oh. 7 also, morning 7 also, but not on evening. And how about other guys? How about other guys? Sir, concerned persons will discuss that. Same follow up will do. Concerned persons will follow. Okay. No, they are, uh, they are still uh, stick with the online class. Uh, how? Uh, online. Most of the people are online. online. But offline or online, same time. Same, same like this one. Okay. So, whether one or two guys also will start the session.
we'll fix one time on the time we will start because the session what will happen is that if it is online the interaction will be very limited so some people let's say for example i start one session with a 150 people oh. on 7:30 morning 7:30 it is some some type of corporate training oh. Oh. they just uh, gave a data engineering complete data engineering on that complete data engineering snowflake is a complementary score course oh. Oh. for them okay. so they asked me to teach this class so first day 150 up to 10 days 150 online itself oh. Oh. up to 15 days it's 100 28th day it is 70 25th day it is 10 member that's why why because up to 25 days they will mingle up with me they are, have get a rapport with my language and everything and they depending on the videos we don't have right to say that it's not correct or not no, they are the, they are the good with that yeah. same like that let's say for example one of the batch previously started at 8 a.m because of four guys i came to offline actually and i will take on home itself but I am coming here because of four guys. First one week they will come. And after that they are attending a home. So all depends upon the persons. That's true. One of the guys is there at 11 a.m. He, he joined on the online. He is not good with online. He just joined with offline class again. So all depends upon the persons. Depends upon the situations okay but the classes so if i start the classes both combine it will do offline and online one day you let an online one day you let an offline whatever it may be your wish so you come from here here okay. if i didn't come from here means that the class will be cancelled oh okay. <laughs> i have a child a small child okay. you won't uh, allow to teach the class on my home okay. so early morning also i need to come here only if I want to sleep one hour means I will sleep here only. Okay. It is not possible to take class from my home. Yes, yes. Okay. But... okay, then we'll get uh getting we'll just cut with the concerned persons. Okay. okay. So they will keep on updating. Okay. So about my classes. So if you want more one or two classes in the meantime, so you can get the one or two classes from them. Okay. okay. At least you need to see what is the lecture of what snowflake why snowflake so, we, so whatever the discussion right now yes. this discussion was not happened for the other batches okay. only the persons why i every time i ask to interact with the students is based on the students my class will be there that is true, that is true. okay actually you, you can check my all my demos yes. the interaction not happened like this that is true. okay you the can... exploration when the person is asking more at the time, we'll think about, think around the things and yes. we'll start and also, and I, 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 my classes won't be like this. After 45 minutes, I will, I don't give the time to ask your questions. Okay. If I teach some five, 10 minutes also, I will ask a question. I give yes. you time to ask a question. Yes, yes, yes. This is way, I, I, I am expecting more, uh, uh, more, more okay. interaction. And one more important thing for my classes is, I'm very comfortable with one person in front of very comfortable so that means that i am not comfortable with online but i am very comfortable with if i have one person is interacting with me so i have some phobia if anybody is not uh, interact with me or if anybody is not talking with me i feel bored that is true okay so i cancelled one bash so five people are attended even single guy is not answering to my question any questions also they are not giving any answer okay. Okay. so at the end of the day end of the 40 minutes of class i ask you so please interact me i literally i beg them okay. please interact with me one guy said that so what is the need of interact with you one of the candidates said so immediately i said that sorry sir i can't teach the class for you sir so you feel whatever it may be but i don't have that attitude to teach the class if i accept this batch also i can't complete this batch sir 
sir at least whether you are listening or not if i understand means i can share it sir what level of understanding they are getting, what level of information they are getting. Sir, I am not a robot, sir. I am not a robot here. Okay? I have some sense. So, the sense will make you to share something. That is where we are also capable. No problem. So, I am good with that. I am good. Even in an online also, if you interact means, that will be very good for me. So, so that's what. Every time I will expect some interaction to the candidate. So, no problem. So, both online and offline will be covered within the same time. Okay. So, just go to this class or take the concern. Uh, I think one or two days will take time to start this batch. Okay. In the meantime, okay. so tomorrow is the all day, maybe Sunday. Yes. So, in the meantime, one hour time, you will get free time means you will go through my classes, recording videos. Okay. okay. So, you will take the one or two classes or two to three classes from the uh, concerned persons and please go through that. Okay, so before attending the, my classes itself, you can judge me. Okay, so after that, you, know, you can listen live classes of two to three classes or four classes, then you decide whether you continue the classes or not. Okay, no problem. Offline and already 45 hours of section I needed, minimum two months to complete this course, and it is not sure actually. It depends on how we are approaching. Why? Because, for example, right now, the demo is not on the demo part. Because yes. of your interaction, yes. some will be lagged. So, let's say it is one hour, 50 so minutes. almost one hour, 50 minutes. I call. It was scheduled for the one hour. One hour. It sure comes to one hour, 45 minutes. But in the in the normal batch, it won't be. Why? Because immediately at uh, two o'clock, I have a batch. I need to cut down that. That means these sections will be in the two sections. Got Yes. That's the first point. Yes. And the second point, I am a working guy. Yes. As a working guy, 100 to 200 percent, I am saying you, I didn't work on all these points. That is true. That is true. <laughs> the first day itself, I am telling you, I didn't work on all these areas. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Because of my teaching only. I learn a lot of things and keep on digging also. That so, is, and also in my habit, I don't be say, calm. I keep on digging on the topics. So yes. maybe for this batch, I didn't cover the snow park. Maybe for next batch, I will cover the snow park. Right. Maybe in this batch, I didn't cover the Oracle integration. Some people are interested on Metillion. That's why I covered the Metillion one hour time. Maybe in some batch, they will expect DVT. I'll keep on digging. Enough. So I will share that content to you also. But I need minimum of 45 hours of time to complete this course content. Okay. Maybe okay. it will be one or two hours later also. More also. And how would be the expectation from the market? So assume that. So The market they... they are expecting is not exactly Snowflake. Hmm. The expectation will be more on ETL guy. ETL guy. ETL guy with a concept oriented, not on the practical. Why? Because end of the day, you need to work on the same thing on the snowflake only. You got my point or not? Yes. The expectations will be on the ETL, but work expectations will be on the snowflake only. Even if you get an interview also, the expectations will be on less on snowflake. More on SQL. Mm, mm, okay. More on SQL query. Okay. So they divided with the uh, 40% of SQL, 20% of Python, not 50% of SQL, 20% of Python, 30% of Snowflake. Okay. On expectation of interview. Got it. Got it. Work means it's full, of full of Snowflake one. Snowflake, snowflake consists of SQL one. That's why at the first day itself, I am telling you, I am suggesting you some basic Python need to learn. I didn't cover here. So further, what I will do, the basic videos I will share you. If you are not good with that videos, you just enroll the course anywhere. You are interested. Whatever the basic requirements, I will share that videos. That is enough. 
if you are not gone through that videos or not interested on that videos you just enroll to the python course anyway basic python not much more okay end of the day anywhere you need this one as a data engineering master and should sql knowledge basics of python and warehouse concepts and etl concepts and reporting concepts this this knowledge is must and should these are the prerequisites yes please you are ask your question about this uh, snowflake administration so here combinedly i will teach you sir okay and how so, about the answer is a real time so how the role will be is a person who is working on the snowflake he will be uh, organize and the monitor and the manage his activities or else he still have the role for the snowflake activity. snowflake having a roles okay. i said uh, role is account admin account admin and okay. after the sys admin okay. after that there we have a role called a user admin Okay. Okay. After that, there we have a customized users. No, and this, the, is, the, this is what we have in the Snowflake. Yes. But when it comes to real-time organization, same, 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 same hierarchies will be there. Whatever the software we have, so whatever the roles we have, okay. same hierarchies will be there. Okay. Much more. Okay. This is one of the best part here. Okay. Only even you can check here. what are the query we are written same will be there only name naming conversion will be different mm -hmm. and we can show all the most all organ for example my first uh, five batches i didn't teach only i i teach only integrations of aws mm -hmm. aws integration after that uh, i already told you 150 guys they all are from azure data engineer they asked me to teach on azure again azure included again i am a part of gcp na no? a gcp also integrated no we have covered it all three integrations we will cover it so for that only i i need a minimum of 10 to 15 hours of classes integration it's a three hour process integration not only integration getting the data with the different various methods got it got it because these three are we just stop out yes after the process they have what they have we need to get the data and we need to transform the data and we need to load the data mm -hmm. or we can directly load it and otherwise you can transform data yeah. and on premises integration also mm -hmm. everything i need to show as a practicals okay. and these are the files i will share you with you all the document will be shared <laughs> all my images right now i showed one image na yes so all these images will also show shared and also i didn't share any document to you sir why because see here why because you are not at all a fresher no one second one second please try to understand you are not at all a fresher you no need to learn theoretical operations you need to learn the concept that concept will be covered on this image itself okay Okay. sir for this image yes, if i share this image you can understand the concept why i need to give 10 pages of document for this image i don't focus on the documents i only focus on the documentation for the lab these all are the documents i will provide let's say gcp snowflake storage integration Azure Snowflake data engine, AWS cloud data storage integration, okay. Snowflake tables, loading data with AWS S3, data loading with Snowpipe, continuous data loading, copy into command, types of tables, Azure storage integration, GCP storage integration, data unloading, zero copy, metalized review, stamp travel, external tables, resource monitoring, streams, task. Well. so if any new, any point need to be discussed in thin the document itself we will make a comment okay that means no need to open a specific document and no need to read about the snowflake any concept will be there that will be covered in the ppt itself i will share that ppt okay. all the ppt i will share so metalized rules for example So here itself, I will write some queries. It still required a person can get this uh, 
freedom of Congress. That's more than enough. That's more than, that's what my documents will be for the experience, guys. Yes. So some people will expect the notes. No, no. That comments will be written. Let's say, for example, you want to in detail about the snow snowflake metallizer views, for example. If you observe all the points I written here itself. What effects happen? I will share all these documents. That's it. Okay. And uh, I will share the documents, images, PPTs, and lab section. Okay. Lab section. And also, I will show you reference documents which will be checked with docs.snowflake.com. Okay. And I will give you interview questions. And everything I will cover real time in the class itself. Okay. Different use case method. Let's say when we will use this one. What is the purpose of usage of this one? That in real time, what it will be the use? Use case is important. Yes. So what is the purpose right now? I am integrating with AWS. Okay. okay. In real time, how the use cases will come? So this is the use case, for example, on real time scenario. Actually, I need to take care from this. My data is in the S3 landed. Now I need to go to the uh, snowflake, uh, snowflake, how we will approach like that. We will love, we will give the some use case. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I can say. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Have a nice day. Any questions online people, please ask your questions. Online people, any question? Thank you. Thanks for your time. Have a nice day.